Hello, I'm Marianne Mashiri. A very warm welcome to BBC News Now. Well, we start with Spain, where within the last hour, the head of the country's football federation has said he won't resign. Luis Rubiales has faced sharp criticism over his unsolicited kiss on the mouth of Jennifer Hermoso, a player with the women's national football team. Well, it happened in the moments following Spain's victory in the Women's World Cup, but Mr. Rubiales showed no signs of backing down when he spoke a very short while ago. Para que pidan mi dimisión. Is that so serious that I have to leave while having done the best job for Spanish football? Do you really believe that I have to resign? Well, I'm going to tell you something. No voy a dimitir. I will not resign. 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 Well, in the last few minutes, the deputy uh, Prime Minister of Spain, Yolanda Diaz, has uh, made a comment about this story, uh, and she has said that the Soccer Federation boss, Rubiales, has to go, therefore putting more pressure on him. Now, he has today also apologised for the kiss uh, on Monday. He also apologised for another incident where he was uh, seen grabbing his crotch while celebrating in the VIP area of the Stadium Australia uh, with Queen Letizia of Spain and her 16-year-old daughter nearby. Now, as you heard a little bit earlier, uh, he said a number of times, I will not resign. Uh, he was talking to an extraordinary general assembly held by the uh, Federation, the Football Federation in Spain. He also went on to say that a social assassination is taking place. Well, it's a story that many people around the world are talking about. Let's cross live now to our correspondent in Madrid, Guy Hedgeco. Uh, Guy, what is the latest, the reaction, I guess, is what we want to hear, to the fact that Mr. Rubiales has said a number of times, in fact, that he won't resign? Well, I think the main reaction is one of amazement. It was so widely reported uh, from last night into this morning that Mr. Rubiales was going to resign. The feeling was that the pressure on him was unbearable, that his uh, position as president of the Federation was untenable now, uh, especially after FIFA opened uh, disciplinary proceedings against him yesterday. So the assumption was that uh, he was going to resign, it was as simple as that. So the fact that he's taken this very defiant stance today has stunned people. Um, we, we don't have reactions yet from the politicians, for example, who had been uh, calling for sanctions against him or for him to be removed from office. But um, I think uh, they will be amazed at this. Uh, and I think there's a feeling that this crisis that has opened up at the top of Spanish football um, has some way to go, that this issue hasn't been resolved by Mr. Rubiales simply saying he's not going, um, that, that this turmoil is going to continue for some time yet. He has said that this is, uh, in his words, actually, a social assassination. Uh, looking to Spanish society in general, what is the mood towards him? What are people are saying? Are they supportive of him or are they not? Well, I, I think most people who've, who've spoken out about this have been extremely critical of him, whether they're politicians, female football players, some male football players have spoken out about this as well, condemning him, uh, coaches as well, uh, feminist groups in particular, uh, and many others. Um, pretty much everyone who's spoken out has spoken out to uh, to criticise Mr. Ruby Ellis and say what he, that what he did uh, was wrong. You have to remember that all of this comes against a backdrop when Spain has been discussing very intensely these issues surrounding gender equality uh, and sexual consent. Um, a very controversial uh, new law was introduced regarding sexual consent just a few months ago here in Spain. It's been very much a, a focus of this left-wing government. So these are issues which are being talked about uh, very intensely in the political sphere, and I think this current crisis regarding Mr. Rubiales is feeding into all of that. And the fact that he won't resign and he's defending his position, saying that that kiss was actually consensual, um, I think that's going to probably inflame this particular debate uh, even further. And I'm sure he will face a lot more criticism. Um, what we have to find out is whether uh, he does indeed have the kind of support that he seemed to be insisting he does have behind the scenes. Guy, thank you very much indeed. Guy Hedgeco there in Madrid for us. Of course, more on that story throughout the day here on the BBC.